Hello, it's me, SMBD12, and today I'm going to make a short review in my birthday of the SMG4 Revelation movie. Yay! Okay, before we start, if you want to ask me what's my thoughts on the arc, the Revelation arc, and, um, and all the other arcs. Okay, let me tell you this. Okay, the first three arcs, I like them. I love them. Like the Waligi arc, I love it. It's the best arc out of all of them, and it proves that you could make an, a good arc in SMG4 because it's funny and has some emotional scenes, and it and yeah, it mixes all of them together and has a good plot. I like it. I love it. It's great, and you should have stick to that too. The Bob arc is kind of a mess, but it's at least funny. I I enjoy it, and there's some things I disagree with other people saying because some people hate it because they're like, oh, it's too mean to Bob. Like oh, it's like the, the other characters being jerks, but. Honestly, it's justifiable. Bob, really think hard. The only reason why I think people defended him was because he's funny. But really think about it. Bob, honestly, is a real awful person. So I think it was justifiable. I mean, although I love Bob, I do know he's technically a jerk. And it was all justifiable. I don't think it was like, that being, like you know, like worth defending Bob. He, he, he basically deserved it. And next is the anime arc, which I actually like. Before people will get angry at me saying, but Ben, it's the worst one. It made like the decline of SMG4. Okay, just because it's the decline doesn't mean it's fully bad. I think it's actually great for the most part. Like the ending, the ending was bad. I agree. Like I, I, there's no arguing. The ending was awful. It ruined a perfect character and all the other characters lost their personalities after this. So I will agree that it is... The, well, not the arc, but the ending is bad. But the rest of it is actually funny, and I did enjoy it, and I, I still enjoyed the characters. The characters were still likable. It was still, like, I was still invested in the story. And at least, like, even though I hate the ending, the characters were still likable. They weren't hateable, at least. I, I still kind of cared, even though I hate the change. And, yeah, it made the entire channel change. But, yeah, and by the way, the rest of the 2019 wasn't actually that bad. I, I still laughed a lot, except for there was two awful videos like boys versus girls and smart mario i agree with a lot of people those were awful but besides that the year wasn't that bad and the arc actually is not that bad and it was the last time i felt like i was watching an smg4 video now that was the decline for 2020 like the youtube arc that's when i felt like i had like the decline just ended and it became bad like like the past, yeah, it was a decline. It was, like, less funny, but, yeah, it was still funny. But the YouTube arc, I felt like it was when it got bad. Like, it wasn't, the, like, the full, like, you know, decline. There's a difference between decline and bad. Okay, decline is, like, the quality gets a little bad, less good as it, like, as it was. However, bad is when something goes bad. So, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, remember, like, all this is my opinion, okay? In my opinion... The YouTube arc is when it all went bad because after that I hated everybody. I didn't care about anyone. There was only like a few videos I liked after that every year. And actually every year gets worse where I actually like less and less videos. And it's kind of sad. Because at least with 19 and the rest of the other years from the past, I could watch a lot of those videos and be fine and laugh a lot. Like I could enjoy those years. But for 20 and onward, it's just, it's kind of miserable. For the most part, there are still a couple of good videos, like the Mario Squid Game video and a couple others that I actually enjoy. But that's very rare. And I, yeah, and then we get the Genesis arc. Oh, I, I really hate the Genesis arc. It is worthless. They made Melanie, a freaking watermelon, from the YouTube arc, turn to a main character for no reason just to make money for and from simps. And that's basically it. I freaking hate Melanie. Everything she resembles, she resembles everything wrong with SMG4. Every other character, I can say one positive. At least one. Even, even the stupid anti-cast members. Because at least the anti-cast from the YouTube arc barely appear nowadays. And... At least with SMG3, he's hilarious. And at least with all the other characters, they kind of had a purpose. Like, I like, like, for example, like, I know, like, people like, um, Inkling Maggie and, um, Bob and Boonkins, they have their fans and they have good reasons why they're loved and stuff like that. And heck, even Shroomy, I like Shroomy. 
Even though I, I like, I know there's people that don't like him, but yeah, I, yeah, like they all have purpose. Even Steve, I love Steve, and but there's those characters that people don't like that much, like a lot, like saying that they're kind of worthless, like Tari. But honestly, she's not that bad. She's just okay. I didn't find her a fan favorite, but yeah, she was just okay. And honestly, right now she's better than everyone most well, most characters because at least she's nice compared to most of them. Where most of them are just annoyingly awful. These like like the, the modern SMG four era right like right now. And for at least and at least for human Maggie, I could see some people defending her by saying she's not a Mary Sue, because at yeah at least I could see her flaws. Human Maggie does have a lot of flaws, and I could see some people getting inspired and they're not simp's. Like I could see girls finding her really compelling and even some boys i can see some of them getting become like you know thinking that she's a compelling character and like a strong like you know a character to sympathize with and i could see that but for melanie the freaking watermelon i don't see any positives so already you're gonna know that i probably hate these last two arcs which are focused on the stupid watermelon and yes i hate them much like more than the other arcs like you know, because at least with the first three they're enjoyable, and with the and with the fourth arc, like the YouTube arc, it has SMG three as a great villain. So I guess I had some enjoyment, and it had two good videos at least. Wow, would be. But for these last two arcs, the Genesis arc. Let me just guard, let me just say it out loud. I freaking hate the Genesis arc. It just made me feel like I wasn't watching SMG four anymore. Because even two thousand, like even two thousand twenty, I at least felt a little bit like I was still watching SMG four. It was just bad but for 2021 i felt like i was watching a different show it wasn't the same anymore and it was really bad and i hated one and two i hated melanie more axel they turned into a simp guy i hated him i i i i i, I and, and 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 oh yeah zero was kind of a bland villain that arc and we'll get to the new arc right now later but yeah I, yeah that these are my thoughts on those arcs okay and yeah these are my opinions okay so don't take it like fact. It's not like, you know, well, okay, well, it's kind of like, um, I mean, well, yeah, but that's how me and most people think, okay? That's how we feel. So, um, now, how about the Revelation arc? I've already talked about all the other arcs of my thoughts. I hate it even more than the, Gen the Genesis arc. Because it is unfunny. I didn't laugh. They went to school. It's stupid. Like, why SMG4? Why would they go to school? Like, like, oh yeah, Maggie and Melanie go to school. And why did she have to take the stupid watermelon? Oh yeah, to develop. Oh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk more about this in my like, you know, when I get to 2020 in my and 21, 22, like you know, in my series of watching all. I'll talk about those later, like, in the future. But it's so stupid. It doesn't even make any sense. They're 20. I checked. So, like, they, they're adults. All of them are adults. Bob's an adult. Boomkins is... Okay, actually, Boomkins is five years old. But Mario is, like, 25 or 30. They keep changing his age. At this point, I don't even know. He gets back to young and older. I don't know. At this point, I'm just going to say 28. Five. That's his um, actual age in um, Nintendo. So I'm just going to... I'm gonna just, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to think of him as 25, okay? So, why? why? They, they, they're not kids. It wasn't funny. Unlike the old school videos where I laughed a lot, like the um, 2017, 18, and 19 school videos, like even the 19 one was kind of funny. This, like, these videos about school, like this arc with school is not funny. I had a lot of problems. It was so boring. All the other characters had nothing to do except for the stupid watermelon. Like, nobody else was important to the story. They had no funny lines. Nobody was funny. I, I, Bob, who was freaking hilarious even in 2020, doesn't... Well, yeah, I mean, most... Some of 2020. Like, even 2020, he was kind of funny. Barely says anything this year. And... I didn't even laugh from him, and I didn't think it was possible. Like he didn't, I, like I didn't laugh from any of his jokes this year. It's just, it's just, I don't know. This year is the, this is, it's kind of disaster. Yeah. Now I've been talking more about the negatives about this, like the arcs and stuff, and I should make a full out video about my thoughts on the arcs. And yeah, there's much more I have to say, but I'm supposed to talk about this movie. I'm so sorry. This, I just wanted to get out. Um, I wanted to get that out of the way. 
So how is the Revolution movie? <sighs> Honestly, it's uh, it's actually the best part of the arc, but that's not saying much because it's still bad. Yeah. So um, there are a few positives I I will say. Um, number one, uh, d- d- I like the callback of um some of the stuff in the past, like. Inktopolis and um, Steve, that 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 that's it. And two, I um, one and two are barely in it. However, every time I see them, I want to punch those two in the face because they're stupid exposition machines. Like, please, SMG four, just kill them off. Just kill those two. I I hate them. They're they they're worthless. They're just exposition. They're like some of the worst characters I've ever seen in the show. Three, Mer- Melanie w- w- didn't get me as angry as the other videos, which I could not stand her in those other videos, but in here she wasn't as bad, but still, she's still bad. I still hate her. And three, uh, well, four, every time she suffers, I was actually smiling. And when I thought she died, I was also smiling. And the fan base probably would get mad at me. I, like, I don't care. This is my opinion, okay? If anyone likes Melanie, that's fine. I don't, but this is my opinion, okay? I'm gonna have to say so much hate about her. I'm sorry. Five, I think, that they don't misuse the other members of SMG4. Like, they are barely in it, and they um don't come in the adventure like um Human Maggie and Bob and Boomkins and uh Psycho, and, like, they, like, and uh, the, uh, the others. They, they stay in Earth. Which I think is for the better, because I had much more problems when they were used when the story didn't need them. Like, in the rest of the arc, what, what was the point of even bringing them? They didn't even say anything funny. They didn't even do anything. Even Human Maggie, who I cannot stand in 2000, like, like, like t- 21, she wasn't actually bad. But that's because she doesn't, she doesn't do anything here. That's because, like, what was even the point of bringing Human Mega here? Oh, yeah, I, I know why. The Simps. They need to, like, they need to make money out of the Simps. Listen, I'm fine with you making money, but they have to have a purpose. But for this movie, they kind of just stay on Earth, and that's for the better, because they don't have anything to do in this story. It's not their story. And... But that's, but yeah, that's still kind of an issue. Like, they don't do anything. I hope this year fixed that problem. Like, give every, come on, SMG4, give everyone else an episode. Like, I don't, like, I don't care. Give Steve more episodes. Give, like, I really love Steve, by the way. Steve's the best SMG4 character. Give Shroomy another episode. Like, I got, like, Psycho, Atari, I, like, Luigi, Bob, Boomkins. Give, heck, I, I'd even rather take a Human Maggie episode then another Melanie episode. Like, please, after this, please give us any other episode of any other character. Like, I'd rather take those. Like, anyone else. Please work on anyone else. Except for Melanie and the Anti-Cast and um, SMG 1 and 2. I never want to see those guys. I don't want to get them more folk. Like, I want you to kind of ignore them. Those are the real characters. And also bring back Toad and Bowser. And maybe include Maggie for Splatoon 3. Like, please, if you make making Splatoon 3... It doesn't have to be, like, a return for the rest of the series. You could just, at least one time, please. You're gonna do the fans a happy favor. They want to see Inkling Maggie one last time. At least just one last time. That's is that, that, that's not asking much, okay? Anyways, continuing with this movie. um, Yeah, I don't like it. It wasn't the worst. It was surprisingly the best part of the arc. And, um, yeah, those are the positives. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's actually... Oh, wait, there's one more positive. Surprisingly, I was invested in, um, I actually thought Zero and, um, Niles were actually interesting. I was actually interested in their story, and I wish they became main characters instead of Melanie. I'm not even joking. Why couldn't they be? And, like, and why couldn't you just replace a 1 and 2 with Zero? Like, I thought it would have been much interestinger to learn more about him. He wasn't, like, annoying. He actually wasn't that annoying, if if at all. Like, I didn't feel like I was annoyed by him. If If anything, I actually found him, like, eh, fine. I would have rather taken him, like, um, actually, I think most, like, I think all the fans of SMG4 would rather take him than SMG1 and 2, because they're freaking annoying, and Zero, he's, he, he actually isn't that bad, he's just nice, but they still don't explain a lot of things, there's still a lot of plot holes, inconsistencies, um, I was still invested in those two, 
like those are the only two I cared about, and the, like that was the only like that was also the only other emotions I felt like for a characters, mainly those two guys like. Like, those are the only two I cared about, because I really wanted to see more of them. But I'm pretty sure SMG4 just killed them off and let the stupid watermelon live. Like, yeah, because Melanie makes money, and I'm pretty sure Zero and Niles are not marketable. So he had to kill them off, even though I was kind of interested and wanted to learn more. And I want to learn more about the other... St <laughs> whatever. Just, 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 at this point, they just care about money. And um, the other problems I have... um is basically everything else like i hate it how they misuse smg3 like for like oh smg3 don't turn like you know you're gonna turn bad and blah 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 you're gonna kill us all but honestly if they did follow the youtube arc where smg3 was mistreated by four and everybody else realistically he would want them all to die even himself because i think he doesn't even want to live in these worlds anymore at this point so at this point i was like i'm pretty sure he would have killed himself and everyone else just for revenge but no, they ignore that, and they ignore the stupid, pl like, they ignore that interesting plot point where I was actually excited to see 3 turn evil again. I was hoping, but no, he has to stay as one of the cast members, be a bland character, even though he was much funner as a villain. No, please, that's a G4. We're stop turning villains into good guys. Like, please stop. And also, there is another character, like, the box leader, like, box cult leader. By the way, ha ha ha, another original name, even though, like... Killer Ink leader. That, 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 that's what they call her too. Like, well, why are you giving these people names? Like, these leader names. Give them original names. Why? It's, it's not that hard. And I don't even care. It's like, whatever. He was the only thing I enjoyed in this arc. Because he was different and random. Like, I, I, like he wasn't that funny, if anything. But he at least was the only thing that made me, like, at least enjoy something. But, yeah, now he's dead. They kill him off. Yeah, he's dead from the from the the stoop, the, the dumb box, the, the box. Yeah, the box thing. Like, yeah, and we barely learn anything about this box thing. Like, it's not like I don't even know what was going on. They don't even like hint on us on like like it's so stupid. Like, um, the the like there's so many plot holes and there's so many questions. Like, they but like the, the the like does the god box have any sentient? It's, I don't know, they don't explain that, they don't clarify it, and Niles has problems with his head, he's like, I don't know, it's some, there's something wrong with his body, and so his plans are to create a better world and use the power of this god box to in his advantage. Uh, I, I kind of question this because I'm like, first, why is he like that? Why does he have the glitchy problem? I forgot what it is. Why does he have something hurting his head or something? They don't explain that. It's so weird. Like, it's, she could have just said, like, he had a headache or the box did that. But no, the box is not sentient. I'm pretty sure it's not. It doesn't have any sentience. If anything, the box does anything people tell him to do. Like, you, and, um, it, it, that, 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 sorry, it's my brother. Um, that, 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 like, this, like, like, it does like, I, there are so many plot holes about this thing. Like, like, okay, like, the, if you, like, Technically, they, like, Zero did say that the God Box technically does good things. So, if you do, like, ask it for bad things or, like, good things, there's, like, a consequence with that. Uh, they, they don't explain that very well. And um, it gives me so much more questions of, like, like, like the origins of these SMG things. Like, it's so many questions, so, so many plot holes. They couldn't even explain those, but they were focused more on marketing on the stupid watermelon and the school things. Why couldn't they just develop more on these brother, these guys? This would have been much more interesting. Imagine if they were the main characters. It, was, it would have been a much better story. But no, they had to focus on this stupid thing and the school thing. Why? No reason. Just for money. Marketing for simps. Yeah, it was all... Remember, the Sims are the most important fans, even though there's fans that just want to watch for comedy and action and also a lot of other things we want to see, like the characters actually being nice. Okay, for the most part, Mario could be kind of a jerk and fun, nice. Like, kind of like a balance, but no, it's mostly just... Blah, 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 just more problems. And, um... Ugh, oh, I don't know. It's just... It's, 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 the only thing I liked is when the watermelon suffers in this movie... Okay, I'm coming. 
Sorry, 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 sorry. It's just like, I, 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 it's just my dad for the cupcakes. But let me just say this. Um, yeah, the only parts I, yeah, yeah, okay. Joy, are you coming? Sure. Let's go. Okay, I'm sorry. It was like my dad. I had to get something quick. And um, okay. So where was I? This yeah, this movie is. Uh, uh, it's just bad. It's, it's not the worst out of like compared to everything else I've seen. It's not really the worst, but it is not good. I'm getting so tired. I think I feel so tired. Because most of it was boring. Listen, SMG4, if you're watching this, please just... Just you, just, just, just send Melanie with Axel. Like, so then both fan bases could be happy. Like, the people that hate her, like me, are happy because she's gone. And the other people that are fans of her are going to be happy because she's with her true blah, 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 blah. You get the point, right? Yeah, so then, yeah, so both fan bases can be happy, happy and no one has to argue anymore. Yeah, easy solution. But I doubt that's going to happen. So if you want me to give you my number, I give this movie a 3 out of 10. <sighs> Overall, the arc is still awful. I, I, I have a lot more to say, but that will be saved up for rank. Like talking about when I talk about the all the arcs by themselves, I'm gonna talk more about this movie because I have a lot more to say. But in the future, like there's gonna be like there's a lot more. Yeah, just, just. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm ending it like this, but I don't have enough time. I have a birthday. I'm sorry. Yeah. See you all. This is SMPT12. I didn't even edit any pictures because I don't know. It wasn't really worth it. I just I just want to be done. Goodbye. Stay tuned and subscribe for no for more videos. Okay. Thank you. Bye.